Hey guys, AK James 762 here. I want to talk about something that's very important. Very, very critical to home defense. This is more important than the argument of which firearm to choose. This is more important than the argument of which caliber to choose. I have never, ever heard anyone talk about this, and it's shocking. No video on YouTube I've watched, no forum, article online, anything. No one has talked about this when it comes to home defense. And I'm not all like excited because I'm the first person. No, I'm, I'm shocked because it's such an important thing. It is so important. Now, <clears throat> I urge you guys, if you don't watch Doomsday Preppers, I would advise that you watch this one episode. I don't remember the name of the episode, I apologize, but there was a part where there's a guy, he's like a Hispanic or Native American or something, and they he lives out west, and he became friends with another guy, and they are prepping partners. But the the, the guy is like, you know, he's, he's big on firearm safety, he grew up with guns and all that stuff, and the guy he met is kind of like, for lack of a better term, he's a fucking clown. He always goofs around, he doesn't practice proper firearm safety all the time. Well, they go out on the guy's land, and they're, they're setting up, uh, like, explosive targets with Tannerite, and they go up in a blind that he has. It's like a 10-foot by 10-foot blind, about 20 feet off the ground. And there's, the windows are small slits, and the guys have their, uh, their rifles pointed out, and they're getting ready to engage the targets. Well, the guy's goofing around with his magazine and shit, and he brings his rifle up to his shoulder. They both have hearing protection on. They both have the big, you know, the, the electronic muffs, the real expensive ones. And this guy, he's got like, it, it looks to me like it's a, it's a 308. It looks like an AR-style rifle, like maybe an AR-10, but it's a 308. It looks like it anyway. It's, it's a big rifle. And he doesn't have his muzzle outside of the window of the blind. He has the muzzle inside. And he fires, and it fucks up the other guy. Because the, the concussive blast from the end of the gun in that confined area, it gave him complete hearing loss for the moment. I'm, I'm sure it did some kind of permanent damage. But for the moment, he couldn't hear anything. The, the, the medics were talking to him. He couldn't. He said, I can't hear you. And he laid on the ground. He's like, I, I don't want to stand up. Everything's spinning. He threw up. He was crying. He was flipping out. And it's understandable. And that's what you have to think about in home defense. That is the, one of the most important things. I, can, I cannot believe no one has talked about this before. You have to understand that if you have to use a firearm in a home defense situation and you have to discharge that weapon in the house... It's going to fuck your ears up. You have to know that. You are in a confined space. Some people's houses are bigger than others. Some people's houses are uh, constructed to a certain, you know, in a certain way or what have you. I mean, everybody's home is different. But you have to know that you're, you're in a confined area. You're not outside. And if you shoot that weapon, you have to know how your body is going to react to that concussive blast in that small of an area. Now, I am by no means saying... For you to go shoot your gun inside your damn house. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm just saying that you need to... And, and I'm sure that in the, in the moment your adrenaline is going to be pumping. And it's probably not going to affect you as much at first. Because your adrenaline is pumping. You're probably not going to feel it. But when you shoot a gun, gun... Every caliber gun goes off. Every caliber firearm goes off at... 140 decibels, give or take, and over. Now, I've got two guns out here. It's a tw pump 12 gauge and a 9 millimeter. 12 gauges are fucking loud. I would bet money on that. I would bet any amount of money that they are way above 140 decibels when they go off. 12 gauges are fucking loud. You shoot a 12 gauge in the house and you don't have hearing protection, you're going to feel it. You're going to get that ringing in your ears. It sucks. I would definitely recommend that you invest in some kind of uh, quick hearing protection. Like if you if you need to defend your home, get something that next to your bed where your gun is that you can flip on your head real quick. You know, like the like the electronic muffs. These wouldn't be really good for that because you can't really get these in quick per se. You know, the muffs you can just 
you know, open them up and drop them right on your head. You don't have to twist them and hold them in there so they expand and all that stuff. You have to do that with earplugs. But, you know, I'm serious. You have to know what is going to happen in your head, with your body, etc. when that gun goes off. It's more important than the training. It's more important than what, what gun you choose. It's more important than what caliber you choose. That is a very, very important aspect of home defense. And like I said, it just shocks me that no one has said that before. No, none of the videos that I have personally seen. But I hope you guys uh, take that in and you have that into consideration when you think about having to defend your home. I hope you think about... Uh, you know, firing in a con in a confined space, but uh, chances are you're going to uh, have some type of permanent hearing loss. It might not be a bunt. It might not be a lot of hearing loss. It might not be much, but you're you will probably suffer some type of permanent hearing loss if you have to discharge your weapon indoors. Now, like I said, all if not most firearms. Most, if not all, however, I don't fucking know. They go off, when they go off, they emit a sound that is at least 140 decibels. I don't believe there's any firearm. I'm not talking about BB guns and shit like that. Those are not firearms. There's no firearm that goes off below 140 decibels, to the best of my knowledge, without a suppressor or silencer. And like I said, 12 gauges are fucking loud. If you've shot a 12 gauge or been in the vicinity of someone shooting a 12 gauge, you know that they're fucking loud. And even with hearing protection, like on that episode of Doomsday Preppers, you guys could probably find a clip of that on YouTube or, you know, on some other video site. But the guy had hearing protection on, but being as close as the other guy was to him, shooting his gun within that confined space, I mean, it... It can disorient you, it can make you nauseous and dizzy, it, can, it gave him a concussion, like sound gave him a concussion. I mean, that's how serious something like that is. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and cut the video short. Like I said, I hope you guys consider this whenever you're thinking about home defense. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for me. Take it easy.